Hey guys, it's Joey Gaming and welcome back to the Joey Gaming channel. In today's video, we have something that we need to discuss and it's about YouTube. And if you guys have been paying attention to my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, or any other so sort of social media where I've been talking about this, um, then you already know that I've received two community guideline strikes on my side YouTube channel called Joey's Adventures. And for those who are not subscribed to Joey's Adventures and don't know what it is, Joey's Adventures is a vlog channel, my second vlog channel, where I upload vlogs, right? I have field trips, vlogs of me going on field trips, I have vlogs of me going to like Air Force bases and stuff and museums, and then a lot of other really, really, really cool stuff I did. And keep in mind guys, this is not my first vlog channel. The first vlog channel that I created was called Joey's Vlogs. And I created that during the third Vincible War when I lost access to my main YouTube channel. And I needed another channel fast so I can continue fighting the war because I lost the password to the original one. Um, and I didn't have the email so it's going to take me a little bit to get it back. So I created this brand new YouTube channel called Joey's Vlogs, right? And in, ever since the war, I've been using it as a vlog channel, right? I would record me doing stupid stuff like throwing fireworks and stuff, lighting fireworks and a few other videos on that channel, right? And um, and I do have some traditional vlogs as well, not just me recording some random videos as well, right? I would have a field trip, uh, not field trips. Well, you know what? I did have a field trip video on there as well, but you know. Uh, long story short, I had most of my vlogs from Joey's Adventures on this first YouTube channel. And in 2020, I decided, hey, you know what? I want my vlog channel to be associated with my email. So what did I? So what I did is I created a brand new vlog channel, and instead of calling it Joey's Vlogs, um, I called it Joey's Adventures. And the main reason for the for the name change from from Joey's Vlogs to um, to Joey's Adventures is that there was already a creator called Joey's Vlogs that is decently big. And I don't know, I'm not, I wasn't going to compete with someone else, so I decided, hey, you know what, I'm just going to uh, call this new channel Joey's Adventures, right? And what I did is I took all the content from Joey's Adventure, from Joey, not from Joey's vlogs, and re-uploaded and re-uploaded it to Joey's Adventures, right? And I would make it pretty clear that I said, hey, uh, 2020 re-upload or 2021 re-upload, right? So basically, I re-archived all the content from that channel to the new vlog channel, and I discontinued. The old the vlog channel I took and I removed it from the channel suggested list. You know how you can go to my YouTube channel, click channels, and see the channels that I have featured. Right, I removed that, put the new one in. Right, um, so yeah, that's what happened. So, anyways, for two years, those videos on my vlog channel were fine. Right, no one had a problem with them. YouTube didn't have a problem with them. And honestly, I totally forgot that I have uploaded any videos to that channel to begin with because I was focused on my coding stuff, on my main YouTube channel, and all that. Until July 21st of 2022, where I received an email from YouTube saying that they took down one of my videos for community guidelines. And at first, I was freaking out. I was like, oh shoot, what video did they take down? Because I thought they took down a video from my main channel, right? Then I read it, and, and, and they took down one of my videos from my vlog channel, Joey's Adventures. And I thought that was a little weird, because the video that they took down was an old video. It was four years old, right? And it's content that I would never do now, right? Because, you know, people can change over four years. And for people who are wondering what the video is, the video is me um, making fun of my sister because she was recording me and I was recording her backs and I was telling people to spam her YouTube channel. And I can see why YouTube take that down, right? I just thought it was busy. I just thought it was bizarre that YouTube waited four years to take down this video, right? And and I, I wasn't sure if YouTube updated their bots or anything, but. Either way, I decided that it's not that big of a deal because, well, first of all, I was in the wrong technically in that video, right? I did break a community guideline by telling people to spam my to spam my sister's YouTube channel, right? So I can see why it was against YouTube's TOS, right? And I understood that. So I did not file any sort of repeal, right? And I wasn't really worried about it in general because if um, I wasn't really worried about it because if you know how community guidelines work is if you receive a community guideline strike for the very, very, very first time on your YouTube channel, 
then it's a it's a warning. And what a warning is is that they just take down the video and say, "Hey, this video was removed for community guidelines. Don't do it again, or you will face penalties." Right? And I wasn't really worried about it because a warning is just, I know a warning. They just take down the video and that's it. You don't face any penalties, right? So I wasn't really worried about it. I just thought it was bizarre at first, right? Why they took down this video, right? And honestly, I thought that maybe YouTube updated their bots to look at older videos or something and take down older videos as well because, I don't know, maybe they have a lot of videos in the past that violate community guidelines, so they've been focusing on that or something. So I wasn't really personally worried about, you know, I wasn't really worried about any other videos being taken down. But I was wrong. And on July 24th, 2022, I received my second community guideline strike on the video called Super Snap Banger Fireworks 2020 Reupload for child safety. And honestly, I was freaking out at this point. It's like, why are my videos from another YouTube channel that are super old being taken down all of a sudden? Uh, what you guys got to understand is that I received this community guideline strike right after I uploaded my story time, my student council story time. And at this point, I started coming up with some theories on what's going on. Uh, the first theory is that YouTube updated their bots and they're looking at older videos, right? And um, and the next theory is that, a, is that Quantum TV or Quantum TV supporter is flagging my videos. You may think that's a little bizarre, and let me tell you why I think that. So if you know anything about the Quantum TV situation, you would know that um, there's a lot of weaponization going on, right? There are either Quantum TV himself or Quantum TV supporters going around to videos of people criticizing Quantum TV or saying something negative about Quantum TV and filing a false support and saying, hey, this video is bullying or it's copyright abuse or something right and youtube would re would review that right and take down the video keep in mind that in the quantum tv situation the act man's youtube channel got demonetized um, a few streams got shut down other people's videos got demonetized and there's just been go there's just been a lot of weaponization caused by quantum tv and and quantum tv supporters right and at this time i was saying hey this could be weaponization from Quantum TV or Quantum TV's fan base, right? Going through my older videos and reporting them because the first video kind of makes sense because it did violate community guidelines. And I can see Quantum TV, um, and someone from Quantum TV or Quantum TV himself reporting my video for that, right? And they're just trying to find some way to take down my channel. And when they saw that I wasn't shutting up or something or they noticed that I was still posting, they went ahead and targeted another video, right? And that's kind of a theory. I don't have any other evidence um, except for uh, a few days before I received my first community guideline strike. Um, someone impersonating YouTube emailed me saying, hey, take down these videos because these videos were copyrighted and you, take, you, need, to be, you need them to be taken down or risk your channel being terminated. And I knew this wasn't Team YouTube because uh, the, this email that I received came from my YouTube business email, which is joeygamingbusiness at gmail.com, which is not the chan which is not the email associated with my YouTube channel. And what I mean by that is it's not connected. I have a different email connected to my um I have a different email connected to my YouTube channel. And the Joey Gaming Business email is just what I created for people who want to sponsor me or whatever, right? They can just contact me, right? And, um, and I just knew it was BS because YouTube will not message me directly through the, my business email. They'll just use the email attached to my YouTube channel, right? And, um, and I knew that was totally BS. And I even contacted a tw uh, team YouTube about it. And they said, yeah, that was not them. And they said that those, those were impersonators. So I knew it was BS. And then I went on Instagram and a few other people places and I called out this behavior saying hey someone's trying to impersonate me and I believe it was a quantum tv supporter and the reason why I believed it was a quantum tv supporter because the file that this guy sent me that or the impersonator sent me was a file of them pretending that that they're going to take down my videos and the videos that they had were quantum tv videos so I knew it was a quantum tv supporter 
And once I real, and my theory is that once this Quantum TV supporter realized that, hey, I wasn't going to take down my videos, that the next best thing he was going to do, or it could be a she, but it's probably a he if I'm being completely honest, where is that they're going to go to some older videos and report them and have Team YouTube take them down. So that's kind of a theory. It's not confirmed, right? I don't have any sort of other evidence suggesting that, hey, this is... Uh, a quantum TV supporter. All I know that maybe this is someone that just doesn't like me who's reporting these videos or it could just be YouTube updating their bots or something, you know? I don't have any other evidence. But the, what the facts are is that I have videos that are being taken down that are super old and never had a problem before, right? And you may be thinking, what's wrong with the second video, with the, the video that had received the second community guideline strike? Well, the video was taken down for child safety, right? And what's weird is that um, I was not in danger, right? The child that they mentioned in that video, uh, the child in that video is me, and I wasn't in any sort of danger, right? And keep in mind, I'll describe what the video is. The video is me throwing firecrackers in a parking lot. I wasn't throwing it at anybody. I wasn't throwing it at any animal, cars. I was throwing firecrackers on how you would f uh, throw firecrackers. So I thought, hey, this is totally BS. I should not be receiving this community guideline strike. So what I decided to do was file a repeal. And I filed the repeal to YouTube. And a few days later, uh, like the next day, yeah, I think it was the next day, I received an email from YouTube saying that they rejected my appeal, saying that it does violate community guidelines. And when I received that email, I was kind of shocked, right? I thought, hey, most of the time YouTube's pretty understanding and they would resolve stuff. And I know they have done some stupid stuff, right? I heard some things that YouTube has done. But I was, like, shocked that I was experiencing the stupidity of YouTube right in front of me, right? They rejected, a video, they rejected my appeal to a video which they claimed that I was in danger. Keep in mind, the child and minor that they were referring to in that email was me throwing firecrackers. Not at other people, not at cars, not at animals. No one was in danger. But apparently YouTube thinks that I was in danger and they needed to remove that video for child safety four years later. Four years later, guys, they, re they had to remove that video for that, you know? And honestly, like I said earlier, I heard stories of YouTube being dumb. Right, and removing content that shouldn't be removed. But I was experiencing it right in front of me. And I just couldn't really believe it, right? And at this point, I was just really, really upset. Because um, even though that this is my second community guideline strike, this is the first community guideline strike affecting my channel. Let me explain. Uh, because the first community guideline strike was... The first community guideline strike was just a warning on that channel. And doesn't mean that I was going to face any consequences because of it, right? But the second community guideline strike um, prevented me from uploading or posting for one week on the YouTube channel. And I cannot live stream during that time at all either, right? So I was upset about that. And uh, because you may be thinking, well, Joey, you don't really upload a lot on Joey's adventures anyway. So why does it matter? Why are you upset over a community guideline strike? And that's actually a good point. You see, it's actually against YouTube's TOS and community guidelines to um, use another channel to um, to go to get around the restrictions, right? So if I can't upload anymore, it's against the rules for me to create another YouTube channel and post videos on it to get around the restrictions. And as you know, even though that Joey's Adventures was not my main channel, I can't upload to it because it's technically getting around the restrictions like I mentioned before. So at that point, I just knew that there was nothing to do to help get those videos back and I just really gave up. However, I had one last piece of hope. My last hope was Team YouTube on Twitter. And then I rechecked my notifications on Twitter, which YouTube said that it does indeed violate community guidelines. And you know, I was very frustrated with YouTube, so I respond back with a volley of tweets explaining why I was in the right and why YouTube was in the wrong, right? Explaining myself, saying that my videos didn't break any community guidelines and, you know, I didn't receive a, a response back from Team YouTube. 
and what's funny is the initial Twitter conversation, right? How this conversation happened with me and, tw and Team YouTube was about me asking Team YouTube if someone manually reviewed my video or a, or a bot took it down. Like if someone reported my video or a bot reviewed it. No, just YouTube assumed that I was trying to uh, bring the videos back, which... But fair enough, I guess. But either way, I'm just I'm still really, really salty about this. Those videos have never should have never been taken down because they haven't break any community guidelines. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, see ya, peace.